last time that you tried to do an Active Directory schema upgrade, did it make all of your non-technical business type managers really scared? You know, here's a quick tip. Instead of saying Active Directory schema update next time, just call it, I don't know, adding a couple of columns to the Active Directory database. It seems less scary that way. I introduced this because in order to do Configuration Manager 2012, maybe not to do it, but do it to do it well, it's nice to have an Active Directory schema update. And you've got to prepare for it. There are a couple of steps that are necessary. I recently put together a series for CBT Nuggets on Configuration Manager 2012, and you might want to take a look at it. But before you do, take a look at this quick micro nugget on just how to prepare your Active Directory schema. This might just save you a whole lot of explanation. But we're not really ready yet because we have a couple of things that we have to do in Active Directory to support what we're trying to do here. Now I'm going to RDP over to my domain controller, which in this domain is dc.company.pri. And when I do that, let me plug in my credentials here. This is going to log me into my domain controller. From that location, what I want to do is I want to show you the system container that you'll find in ADSI Edit. First of all, before we, we do that, let's actually spend a minute here in Active Directory Users and Computers. Because if you haven't played with ADSI Edit before and, and you're understandably a little cautious about it, I just kind of want to show you that under the View item, if you choose Advanced Features, that will make available some of these additional containers that are not always available in your, in your ADUP by default. Uh, down here uh, under the system container, in a subfolder of this system container is where we're going to create this systems management folder. Okay, So if you're more comfortable with the ADOC, you can kind of see things in here. Uh, I'm going to show you how we actually create the container using um, ADSI Edit. Here's ADSI Edit. I'm going to connect up to my default naming context here. That's the uh, well-known naming context where the system container actually exists. Uh, there's my domain, company.pri, and there's system. And if I right-click on system and choose new object, I need to create a container. And the container's name is going to be system management. Okay? Again, very important, the spelling and the capitalization and the space there. When I'm done creating that container, the next thing that we have to do is give the privileges to the config manager, uh, the, the, the config manager server, so that the config manager server can update the contents of this container. Okay, there's an automated process whereby your entire config manager infrastructure is going to update these records whenever it needs to. And in order to do that, I have to provide the right level of security for the container. Now to do that, I click here on security. Uh, this is fairly similar to how you would add security for an NTFS permission, for example. I do have to change the object type here to add in computers, because what I'm looking for is config manager uh, 1, config MGR1. So this computer object needs full control over that container for system management. OK? That's step one. Step two actually happens back on your config manager server. And we're not going to use that, uh, that installer just yet. We're instead going to go here to, oops, not there, uh, to the D drive. And in the SMS setup location, and bin and x64 here. And what we're looking for is a little command line tool called extadsch. Okay, this command, which has been around for a couple of versions now, is it's kind of an acronym that stands for extend the Active Directory schema. And if I run that command, it just goes boop and does whatever it needs to do, and it's gone. Now, most of us have to go through all kinds of approval from generally non-technical individuals where we have to prove that we know what we're doing before they'll give us the gay verily that I can double click that. Uh, any, I don't know, in, in all of my years of IT, the, the terms extend the Active Directory schema, more so than any other terms, make, they, they make our non-technical managers, they, they make their skin crawl. So is, is this, does this happen to you too? 
so from my perspective, I, I've stopped actually calling it extend the Active Directory schema. I just now call it uh, just adding a couple of new clients and attributes to the database. Uh, strangely, it actually works because extend the schema sounds worse than what it really is. When you double click that, it will provide for you a, um, a log file and the root of C that gives you some, some explanation about what it's done. Okay, I already updated the schema for this domain back in the Exchange or, uh, Config Manager 2007 days. So some of these already exist. But you can see here that there are some items that uh, got updated. And down here, we can see that we've successfully extended the Active Directory schema. Want to learn more? Check out cptnuggets.com.